Park Kids, it's Pastor Josh, and welcome to Park Kids Online. You know what today is. It's Sunday! to find things in the clubhouse that matches the color of the card. Purple. There are this many purple things in the clubhouse. One, two, three. Manny says there are three purple things in the clubhouse. Let's look low first. I spy with my little eye something purple. The purple ball. That's one. Let's take a pie for another purple thing. I spy with my little eye something else purple. Our 
periscope is purple. Yay, we found two purple things. But we need three purple things. I still don't see anything purple. Oh, maybe I need a different view. I still don't spy anything else purple. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Ho, ho. Trying the upside down view, are you? Hey, Ollie. Manny says there are three purple things in the clubhouse. I'm sure he's telling the truth, but I just can't find the last purple thing. What Manny is saying is true. I know someone else who told the truth, too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. I spy a mailbox. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm just in the mailman, and I'm ready for a game of I spy. Can you show me your I spy eyes like this? Looking good. I think we're ready. I've got the story mail. Our true story is about a man named Paul. Paul believed in Jesus. He wrote letters telling people that Jesus is alive. Some of those letters are right here in the Bible. Paul also traveled to cities to tell people Jesus is alive. One of those cities was called Rome. Rome was a big, beautiful city and lots of people lived there. Do you see a big, beautiful city with lots of people? Look with me. I spy with my little eye a big, beautiful city with lots of people. The people in Rome were very smart and they liked to talk about important things. So while Paul was in Rome, he talked with the people about Jesus. Paul knew that nothing is more important than Jesus. Lots and lots of people came to hear what Paul had to say about Jesus. He would start talking about Jesus when the sun came up early in the morning. Do you see the sun coming up? Help me look for it. I spy with my little eye, the morning sun. And Paul would keep talking about Jesus until the sun went down and the moon came up late at night. Do you see the moon? Help me look for it. I spy with my little eye, the moon. Paul told the people that Jesus is telling the truth. Jesus is telling the truth when he says he's God's son. Jesus is telling the truth when he says, if you believe in him, you will be his friend forever. Jesus is telling the truth when he says he loves us and will never leave us. Everything Jesus says is the truth so we can believe him. Do you see someone who tells the truth? I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Many of the people who heard what Paul said about Jesus believed in Jesus and decided to follow him. And because Jesus tells the truth, we can believe in him too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus tells the truth, and that we can believe Jesus too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, everything Jesus says is true, and we can believe it. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! 
I believe Minnie's telling the truth, so I'm gonna keep looking for the third purple thing. Can you help me? Oh, the C in our clubhouse sign is purple. We found all three. Well, see you next time. Bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Hey Park Kids, Pastor Josh here. How was your lesson today? I hope you learned something new. Well, today if you're watching this at home, we want you to know that we're gathering today at Meadow Park Church. Now Park Kids may not be gathering today, but we're still having our lesson here on Park Kids Online. And, and if you do come next week, you know we're gonna be joining um, our parents in the sanctuary, the worship center, for the worship service. And we'll have an activity packet for you, but you can still watch Park Kids online next week. Hey, I hope you have a really great week this week and we miss you. We can't wait to see you. And remember that God loves you. That's right. God loves you and have a great week. We'll see you later.